Welcome back. It was certainly a chillier day for your Monday with current temperatures in the 30s and a wind now developing a bit stronger out of the southeast gusting upwards of 20 to 25 miles per hour. But our weekend was certainly mild. We made it up to 67 degrees on Saturday within four degrees of a record high temperature and a large portion of our first 10 days of the month have been above normal. We're running almost six degrees above normal so far this November and the fall overall has been mild with uh, only four days, uh, including today with a high temperature of 45 degrees or cooler. Normally we see uh, more than three times the number of those days that we've seen so far this year. Just another statistic just showing how mild this fall has been. And today was just a little bit of a back to reality day for where temperatures should be for this time of year. We'll be right back to mild days later on this week. So that's been the La Nina trend with the uh, warmer, uh, the different changing water temperatures in the equatorial Pacific Ocean. That has impacts here on the United States weather and it can play a role in our mild and dry fall like we've been seeing this uh, year so far. But a pattern change I think is coming with more seasonable highs later next week and some 30s even in the forecast for highs. But it's questionable if the cold stays for a prolonged period of time and that would influence if the precipitation later down the line would be in the form of rain or snow later on next week. Because we've got this mild stretch of mostly 50s for the rest of this work week, but then you can start to see that pattern changing and especially getting into some more chillier temperatures by the middle and end of next Next week. But right now we have a south wind and that's going to help to increase our temperatures for tomorrow. Wind gust around 30 miles per hour over in Stanley, but wind gust elsewhere between 20 and 25 miles per hour. The reason for the stronger wind is because we're sandwiched between strong high pressure over Lake Superior and developing area of low pressure in Alberta. So we'll keep that stronger southeast wind in place tonight, even intensifying a bit more in our eastern counties into tomorrow morning with temperatures to start tomorrow around 30 degrees more clouds through the day as this system approaches. Not going to produce a whole lot of precipitation, but you'll see those winds shift later in the day and we'll have highs in the 50s and an isolated chance of a shower by tomorrow evening and into Tuesday night. But for tonight, with those stronger southeast winds, temperatures a bit more elevated in the upper 20s and lower 30s. Most of us just below the freezing mark. And then tomorrow, we'll see temperatures ranging from 43 in Rolla to right at about 50 degrees in Minot and Point South. So we got the strong wind in place for tonight. That'll continue, especially in our eastern counties for tomorrow. Wind gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour before the wind shift happens later on tomorrow and into Wednesday, but that'll uh, not prevent temperatures from remaining well above normal, low to middle 50s for the rest of this work week before temperatures start to cool down starting this weekend. All right, thank you so much, Jacob.